All right, so in today's video, we are going to talk about the NOCD fault evaluator script that I've written in Python. And basically what this script does is it's going to look for any installations of NOCD that are using the default port NOC sequence that's defined by the NOCD configuration file upon install. As anybody that works in the security industry knows, defaults are frequently not changed. And in this particular case, when that holds true, we may be able to discover ports or services that an administrator actually wanted to keep hidden, but because of their failure to change that default knock sequence, we're able to uncover them. So we're going to demonstrate how this script works. And for starters, we're going to copy the repository. And for the demonstration, we have our attack machine, which is a Kali Linux box, and our victim machine, which is a Ubuntu system. And in the Ubuntu system, we can see that we do have the default port knock sequences still defined by our knockd configuration file. Okay. And now we're going to shut down the SSH service and exit our session and we can see that SSH has now been turned off and is now refusing connections. Of course this is what an administrator using the NOCD service would want and the only time that that service becomes active is if somebody submits the port NOC sequence. So now we're going to get clone our repository into our attack system and then change directory into it and then here for the script to work we're going to have to run the setup script then once that's run we are going to run the knock default dot pi script and this will tell us the usage of the script and that we need to submit an input file which is a list of IP addresses that we want to scan for default NOCD configurations and then an output file where any discovered new services that are opened because of that default NOCD sequence um, are output to that file. So what we want to do is include the IP address of the victim system that we're working with in a text file. So we'll go ahead and create a text file real quick on our target system or on our attacking system. So IPList.txt and then once we've done that we'll run the script and input file and out file.txt. And so basically a real quick overview of how this script is going to work. It is going to perform an inmap scan using Python lib inmap, which is a library, inmap library in Python. And just a basic 65,000 SIN scan, not doing any kind of service identification or any full connection scanning. So this actually should be pretty quick. Usually takes a minute or so to perform. And then once that's completed, it, we will use Scapy to inject the default port knock sequence. And then once that's performed, we will do another 65K scan of the TCP ports of the remote system to determine if any additional ports were made accessible with that default knock sequence. So we can see that we've now completed our initial scan with InMap. We've also injected the default port knock sequence to the system. And now we are performing our subsequent scan to determine if any services were opened.
Okay, so now the scan is complete and it tells us that one new port was opened on the system and specifically port 22 TCP, which is our SSH port. And it tells us that it's writing this output to a file, which is the output.txt file. And then what we can also see is that it also injects the default port not close sequence to close the port and tells us that if we want to manually interact with the service, use the knockdonoff.py script, which is another script that I have also included in this package. So first, let's list the contents of our directory. And as we can see, the outfile.txt file was generated. If we look at the contents in that, we can see that it lists ports opened on the IP address of the target system and the port set that was open. This list will include any IP addresses that were scanned that were identified to have ports that were uncovered with the default knock sequence. So because this did inject the closed sequence, we'll see that we the port is still closed and we still cannot connect to SSH. However, if we use the knock D on off dot pi it will tell us that we need to use the name of the script sorry uh, not the on off and then we can use the word on or off in this case the service is already off so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and then the IP address of the target so that will be the IP address discovered by our previous scan. And then we run that. Takes all of two seconds. And then we should be able to now access the target system with SSH. And there it is. And if we clear that off, and do a real quick in-map scan of that target system at port 22. We'll see that the port is open and we can turn that service off with the off command using the same script. And then you'll see that port is now closed and once again we can no longer connect to SSH using that service. So that is my knock default evaluator script and my knock D on off script. And once again, these can be accessed and cloned out of my knock knock repository in GitHub. Thanks for watching.